All right, good morning, everybody. It's your boy, Akeem. Welcome to today's final blog. Here to give you one more defensive tackle scout report on a player headed towards the 2017 NFL Draft. For this blog, I'm here to talk about Montrevious Adams, the DT coming out of Auburn. Now, he actually had a pretty consistent career, especially as far as productivity over the course of the last three seasons. Pretty much the same numbers with 43, 44, and 44 tackles, respectively, from 2014 to 2016. Eight tackles for loss, three tackles for loss, and 8.5 tackles for loss. And um, three sacks, 2.5 sacks, and 4.5 sacks. It's been pretty consistent, giving up the same numbers. Now, I'm going to quickly talk about his strengths and weaknesses. First, his strengths, he definitely has a pretty good, powerful lower body, which I do like about him. And he has a really good first step in short area quickness, which I do like about him as well. And he can be very difficult on one-on-one -on -one situations. So he's not pretty much a good player if you want a, a player that you want to think about just putting one guy on. You should put two guys on this guy, which shows that he draws a lot of attention in that line of scrimmage. And he also has the ability to take the game over in the in the uh, interior line as well which just shows the great traits about him now as far as his weaknesses though i mentioned the consistency as far as the tackles the sacks and the tackles for loss i really think that i really wish that he improved more as far as his overall numbers he didn't really show much improvement so it's pretty much just what you see is what you get situation if he if he showed bigger numbers especially for this past season i think his his um draft status would rise up a little bit more because also he does run a 48740 which is great and he does have uh, 22 reps at 225 pounds other things that he does need to work on uh, work on hey, he can be inconsistent as far as um he can show dominance at some occasions of a game but then there's the games where he can be taking control of which is a bad thing and lastly he does have short arms um which is not a good thing but i think he definitely recovers with covers from that because of a good modem and a quick first step in which he could take advantage against opposive offensive line. Now overall from my projection, I actually see this kid as a fourth round pick for this year's draft. He's not going to pretty much be a star in my opinion. I, like I said, it's what you see is what you get because of the consistency that he has and the numbers weren't huge but they were disrupted enough to be effective and a reliable player at the next level. So I see him as a mid fourth round pick of this year's Strap. Now, the next time to catch you guys will be later on this week. I'm continuing things with more defensive scout reports, and I will actually head on to some other reports that I did receive requests on. I'll see you guys later on this week. Thank you for watching all of today's blogs. I'm your man, Akeem McCall. Be easy.